Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see important MCQs on research methodology. So, let's get started. The first question for this video is a formal document that presents the research objectives design of achieving these objectives and the expected outcomes deliverables of the study is called option a is research design option b research proposal option c research hypothesis and option d research report correct answer is option b research proposal next question survey is a dash study Options are descriptive, fact finding, analytical, systematic. The correct answer is option B fact finding. Survey is a fact finding study. Question number 3. In a survey, there is an enumerator and a dash. The options are option A guide, option B respondent, option C supervisor. And option D, messenger. Correct answer is option B, respondent. In a survey, there is an enumerator and a respondent. Next question. The first purpose of a survey is to, the options are option A, description, option B, evaluation, option C, both A and B, option D, provide information. The first purpose of a survey is to provide information. So, the correct answer will be option D, provide information. Question number 5. Questions in which only two alternatives are possible is called Option A, multiple choice questions. Option B, dichotomous questions. Option C, open-ended questions. And Option D, structured questions. As we know, Multiple choice questions have more than two options, so option A is wrong. Therefore, option B, dichotomous questions, is the correct answer. Since di means two, so the questions in which only two alternatives are possible is called dichotomous questions. Next question. Identifying causes of a problem and possible solution to a problem is. The options are. Field study, diagnostic study, action study, and pilot study. The correct answer is diagnostic study. Identifying causes of a problem and possible solution to a problem is diagnostic study. Question number 7. Second step in problem formulation is Option A. Statement of the problem. Option B. Understanding the nature of the problem. Option C, survey and option D, discussions. The correct answer is option B, understanding the nature of the problem. Option A is the first step in problem formulation. That is, statement of a problem is the first step in problem formulation. Question number 8. Questionnaire is filled by Option A, respondent Option B, everybody Option C, enumerator Option D, none of the above. Correct answer is option A, respondent. Questionnaire is filled by a respondent. Next question. The main problem in questionnaire is option A, accessible to diverse respondent. Option B, greater anonymity. Option C, shows an inability of respondent to provide information. And option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C shows an inability of respondent to provide information. Question number 10. What does the term longitudinal design mean? Option A. A study completed far away from where the researcher lives. Option B. A study which is very long to read. Option C. A study with two contrasting cases. Option D, a study 
completed over a distinct period of time to map changes in social phenomena a very suitable answer for this question is option d a study completed over a distinct period of time to map changes in social phenomena is known as longitudinal design next question which of the following is true regarding research objectives option a research objectives when achieved will provide sufficient earnings to obtain a reasonable return on investment option b research objectives when obtained will ensure the viability of the marketing research department option c research objectives when achieved provide the information necessary to solve the problem and option d research objectives are seldom achieved but should be stated as goals to be sought the correct answer will be option c research objectives when achieved provide the information necessary to solve the problem question number 12 wrong question r is an example of option a primary data collection problem option b secondary data collection problem option c a and b both option d none of the above the correct answer will be option a wrong question r is an example of primary data collection problem next question what are the core elements of a research process option a introduction data collection data analysis conclusions and recommendations option b executive summary literature review data gathered conclusions bibliography option c research plan research data analysis references and option d introduction literature review research methodology results discussions and conclusions as we know a research design starts with introduction part and ends with conclusions and references so option b and c are not appropriate for this question the research process involves introduction literature review research methodology results discussions and conclusion hence the option d will be the correct answer question 14 the existing company information is an example of which data question 14 the existing company information is an example of which data options are primary secondary both a and b none of the above the correct answer will be option b secondary the existing company information is an example of secondary data last question for this video is your colleague is confused about using the marketing research process as he knows that something is wrong but is not sure of the specific causes to investigate he seems to be having problems with dash which is often the hardest step to take the options are option a developing the research plan option b determining a research approach option c defining the problem and research objectives option d selecting a research agency the correct answer for this question will be option c defining the problem and research objectives thanks for watching if you find this video useful then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel